ourselves. Here we are ready for a new English league season. And what a great way to start. A game between arguably the two biggest clubs outside the Premier League. Nigel Clough is up with us in the gods at Elland Road. Doesn't look a particularly comfortable position. It was in the stands for the final game of last season. Had a one-match ban after an altercation at uh, Ipswich Town at the start of April. Good to see that uh, it's still going on, the Clough fire. Here's Green. This is a really good positive run. And now it's Rob Hulse for Derby. First goal of the match for Derby. Rob Hulse has scored. He refuses to celebrate in front of the Leeds United cop. They used to cheer his goals. That one will chill them. Well, it's just a classic breakaway. Involved the front three, basically. Commons, Green and Hulse. And Leeds guilty of the ball being pinched from them in midfield as well green he waits and waits and waits great way to pass into Holtz and tremendous finish and there has been talk of Rob Hulse leaving Derby County before the season really gets into full swing he's in the final year of his contract Leeds United have been linked actually with uh, bringing him back to Elland Road Savage has lost the ball it's Johnny House and he's in for Leeds to level and selfishly squares for Becky who doesn't miss from there? Two goals in three minutes. One apiece. And it's Luciano Becchio who opens his account on day one of the new season. Well, just as uh, we said about the derby goal that they picked the ball off. Leeds, this time it was the other way around. He does really well as well. With lovely, lovely ball here from Housen. That's exactly where Becchio is. Well, when it became apparent at the end of last season that the prolific Jermaine Beckford was on his way out of Elandro, Becchio stood up to the plate. He scored five goals in the final six games of the last campaign. And he's off and running again. Yeah, it's great vision from Housen. It's a fantastic reply from Leeds as well. Can you tell the Leeds manager has always been a Leeds supporter? 20 opening days without defeat. Leacock. Bailey battling, keeps Derby on the ball. This is Commons. Sifka into the box. And what's the referee going to give here? It is a penalty. Well, I was about to say what a perfectly timed tackle, but then I looked at the referee who put the whistle to his mouth and rather casually trotted into the box and pointed to the spot. Lloyd Sam's challenge. Yeah, and again the break by Derby, isn't it? I think he gets a ball here, does he not? No. Maybe. So he gets off the bottom of his studs, whether he's made contact just before, which is what the referee's seen. Well, all about angles, and from the angle the referee looked at it, he didn't think there was any contact on the ball. I think it was Commons again involved, was it, with a forward pass? And it'll be Chris Commons here. Kasper Schmeichel in front of the Leeds cop. Chris Commons just calmly passes the ball into the net. Coolly done. Leeds United 1, Derby County 2. Never in doubt, that one. And he's got one of the most passionate and vociferous crowds in the whole of football facing him, Chris Commons, and he does that with the penalty kick. Made it look simple. Well, he just waited for the goalkeeper to commit himself. I mean, Commons, Green, Hulse, you know, the three who sort of break away for Derby, are a real problem for Leeds.